and welcome back. Well, it was another warm, muggy and hot day here in Meridian. 95 degrees was our official high. 77 was our low this morning, so well above our average high and low for this time of year. Of course, no precipitation today and look at that. We're finally under seven inches above where we should be for this time of year. We're 6.87, still quite a bit over a half of a foot. You saw this earlier again. These heat advisories, thankfully these were allowed to expire at seven o'clock this evening. Although as we go into tomorrow, I expect them to be reissued because things are only going to get worse as we go on throughout the weekend. Tonight's forecast, another warm one, 77 degrees, increasing clouds and humid. And of course, the winds, just like all throughout the week, are staying out of the southwest. It's kind of weird to have these winds stay out of one direction for so long, but we've just been kind of sitting in this pattern. We'll finally start to get out of this pattern as we go on into next week, but these winds are going to kind of stay out of the southwest for the foreseeable future right now. For your Saturday, brief showers and thunderstorms across Georgia. Of course, that's not going to impact us. But we're on the western side of that high pressure that we talked about yesterday, so we're still getting that Gulf moisture. So it's going to be a very, very muggy day. Here are our highs for tomorrow in the mid to upper 90s. Hot, humid, partly sunny skies. If you see a cloud move overhead, uh, it's going to feel great because <laughs> we need some shade. Here, look at our heat index for tomorrow at or above 105 degrees. As you heard me talk about earlier, it's very important that one, you check on your elderly neighbors, grandparents, parents, whatever that may be. Make sure their AC is working properly because we are so muggy. ACs have to pull that humidity out before they can efficiently cool the air, and that just makes them work overtime. So they're going to be running a lot tomorrow. <clears throat> Stay hydrated if you have to go outside because you're going to sweat, of course. But since we're so muggy, it's not going to evaporate as efficiently, and therefore your body can't cool itself as efficiently. So heat stroke and heat related illnesses in general come on very, very quickly. So it's very important that you watch your friends, your family. Just make sure you stay hydrated. And if you don't have to be outside, don't stay inside. Uh, there's not a great reason to get outside, but if you're going to do something like that, um, you know, just be prepared for that as well as don't keep things in the car. Car temperatures tomorrow are going to get above 130 degrees. Yeah, let's just not do that. There's a complex of showers and thunderstorms moving into Tennessee right now. Again, that's going to stay to our north and to our east. Hopefully some of these clouds will move on uh, down though and help kind of cool us off throughout the early morning hours, trying to sustain a little bit of those cooler temperatures until I say cooler temperatures until later on in the evening, early next week. Showers and thunderstorms are moving on in, so a little bit of a pattern change is in store, although we will still be at or above average for our highs. We're looking forward to a little bit of rain this weekend. Yeah, again, mid to upper 90s. Some places could be near that triple digit mark, not including the heat index values. And then we have a cold front rolling on through for Monday. It's going to drop us still above average, but into the lower 90s. That'll feel pretty nice with chance for showers and thunderstorms almost every day except Thursday right now. And those overnight lows will start to cool off as well, going from the mid 70s to the 60s by Wednesday night.